This is the Solid Signal Podcast coming to you on the week of Halloween. I'm recording this October 26th, 2015. And I'm going to give you a little public service announcement, which has nothing to do with Solid Signal. But please, watch out this Saturday for little folks dressed up in costumes. And be nice to that black cat that you see. Nothing wrong with black cats, and they get a bad rap. And every year, thousands of black cats are unfortunately caught and tortured on Halloween because of some stupid ritual. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with black cats. They're wonderful little creatures and don't deserve that sort of thing. But I digress. The subject of this week's podcast is the 100-mile antenna. Now, you might have even gotten an email from Solid Signal this week talking about the 100-mile antenna. And yet you've read a few articles from me saying, well, there really is no such thing as a 100-mile antenna. And you're wondering, how can I your humble narrator, reconcile that with what the marketing department at Solid Signal wants to tell you. Allow me to make it as clear as I know how to make it. No antenna, no TV antenna, that you can put up on your roof is going to guarantee you 100-mile reception, period. However, we do have a couple of manufacturers that tell us if you're going to get 100-mile reception with anything, it's going to be our antenna. I'm talking about the WineGuard HD8200U, for example, or the Extreme Signal HD8200XL. These are very similar antennas, both made by WineGuard. One of them is made specifically to solid signal specifications. And I make no guarantees, but if you put this antenna high enough up and you point it well enough and you're not de dealing with trees or mountains or anything like that, there's a possibility you're going to get a 100-mile reception. And if you're going to get 100-mile reception, the only way you're going to get it is one of these big bad boy antennas. Those little ones that promise you 100 miles, they don't work, period. You know, I'm talking about stuff like the lava, for example, which relies on heavy amounts of amplification from a very dirty, high-noise amplifier. And so they deliver signals that look like they're really, really strong, but they're just over-amplified. The really only way to get really, really distant signals is to start with a really large antenna, or perhaps two of them, in an array, and get what you can get. Even at that, digital signals tend to break down in the atmosphere in a very predictable way. They just sort of get weaker and weaker to the point where the noise floor, the amount of noise that's inherent in the air, is greater than the amount of signal. And that's when you lose it. And really, this is kind of like whispering if you're at a concert. Oh, you know, it doesn't really matter how much somebody cups their ear, or even if they put their head right up to you. If you're whispering, and it's way too loud no matter what, you're just not going to be heard, period. And that point tends to take place in open air, at about 100 to 110 miles, where you're just not going to get anything. And I mean open air. You know, you're out in the plains of Indiana, for example, or you're on a really tall mountain looking directly and have, you know, line of sight to the antenna towers. That's what I'm talking about, open air. If there are trees, if there are hills, if there are houses, then you're just not going to be able to get reception at that distance, no matter what antenna you have. And that's why we say it's a very dicey proposition at 100 miles. But if there is going to be one antenna or two antennas that come to your rescue, it's going to be the big boys, the ones that you can only get at SolidSignal.com. I hope that clears things up a little bit. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, click that Suggest a Topic at the upper right-hand corner of the Solid Signal blog. Or just, you know, leave a comment on the YouTube video if you're watching via YouTube. Until I hear from you, and I hope I do, have a great Halloween, a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.